Alright, how to use your OMC editor to add the roads, which are called spleens, and a few objects. Here, this is where it normally loads you up to, like tiles, you just want to go down to spleens. Obviously, if you want to choose a different one, you just go into your main OMC folder and select spleens. Most of the good ones that I use will be found in my cells, so like the main one that's used in quite a lot is the Seaberg. Uh, let me see if I can find it. There you go, Seaberg one, Seaberg strip str one. However, I'm not using any of those. I'm just going to be using Seaberg Straza one. Uberland. So what I'll do is I'll press N, which is new, and just put it onto the one I've already made so it will just connect perfectly like so. Click away. When it decides to re register that I've clicked away, there you go. And there's another bit added to it. Now, you can obviously you've got like paving ones as well, so if you choose a spleen with no paving like I have, all you need to do is go to for the same thing I've loaded up str underscore zero spur underscore three m underscore ped, ped only which means pedestrian only as you'd think so same thing again just press n for new and put it onto the one that I wanted to connect it to so there you go and what I'll do is I'll change the radius so I don't want it on my road I want it just away from it so what I'll do is I'll put minus 15 that's too much so I'll put minus 50 still a bit too much so what I'll do is I'll press 0 then press N again and make this one come away the second part of it so minus again because I want it to come away minus 50 still a bit too close so we'll try minus 40 and there you go it slowly comes away after every n especially if it's highlighted you can do it quicker so obviously don't want it so sharp I want it to stay quite close to the road so there you go we'll try what's, what's have I got at the moment so we'll try hmm, back to 50 no we're trying 90 just to get around the curve so I'll put it a bit further around just so, so if you do come off the road or whatever you don't hit anyone or anything sort of thing so I know I have seen a few driving videos where people aren't that good so let's just have a look So new again zero zero there you go and obviously it's not amazing I'm doing this quickly just to show you what to do. There you go and then that one can the last bit of it obviously has to be zero because you're straightening off. There you go. So now the basics of objects so what we'll do is we'll just look for any object we'll do it with a church churches are easy mine obviously doesn't want to be nice today so we'll try it again remember when you are choosing an object double click it then make sure you click there you go obviously my laptop is not the best so I'm doing this quickly what I'll do is we'll just I'm going to guess it's going to be 270 which it is roughly what you do is you just drag it, bring it back as far as you want and there you have it, obviously you don't need to touch any of these apart from the rotation rotation is the one that will make it easier for you to just turn everything, you can do it a quicker way which is by pressing R and then moving the mouse around a few times Here's another one I'll do terrain. What you do, 
choose number one paint on layer and change your size because otherwise if you have it too big like that it's not going to do what you want it to do so I'll just erase that so I want mine a bit smaller so I can have almost like a car park around my church so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go pretty close there you go all the way around including the right by the road as well there you go and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the car park on this side so there you go just make sure there you go just try and just try and get as many spaces as possible obviously it's not going to be amazing this is just a quick tutorial so and there you have it just a simple and easy video on how to just change everything on your map go back to tiles so you're not messing about still and have a look see I'm not happy with that so I'm just going to do that a little bit more there and there you have it you've got a church almost a perfect church obviously you can add more so if you wanted your car park to go further back you can do that only problem is make sure you do say regular so like so I have got a few add-on objects in this all I've done here as you can see this is a different spleen this is uh, Altona this is by and then all I've done is I've just put my normal spleen back in the plain one 8 meter one line no pedestrians and then I've added my own bit of paving on the side it's not amazing it doesn't have to be what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it slightly I'm going to make it oh dear there you go just so it's not it doesn't have to be perfect don't never try and make it too perfect because if you do you will find it becomes quite tedious after a while trying to get it so we're going to put we'll try four five thousand still too close we'll try it seven thousand and there you go it's not so close to this inner curb here all i can do is i can move that will change that to 90 I've changed that to 200 it just makes it easier just to have it a bit straighter and obviously this one has to be a bit more so we'll put this to 200 as well just oh let's just delete that one put a new one in obviously just to connect it up we'll change this to 500 it's almost dead straight There you go, I'll put that to just under 100 and obviously if you want to add the new tile, we'll go to tile I've got laptop settings so all I do is I just move my mouse onto the right, just on, right on the edge look, just here, like, yeah, that's all you want to do, right on the edge, create new tile and that's it Alright, that is an official video from me Anthony, so stay tuned for more videos coming soon